Hi everybody, uh, Benny here from Project Homescape. I came out onto the property today to, to uh, do a little bit of work. Uh, family friend is out here. He did a bunch of, uh, I don't know if you can see very well, they did a bunch of weed whacking, cleaned up the property a bit. Fire inspectors are coming around to all the properties out here to, uh, you know, side them for having three, four foot tall weeds. And I've had those for a few months now. So anyway, got him out here. He did a bunch of weed wheat for me. And then I came through and cleaned up. Uh, looks like I've got a, an apple tree over here. Small, sour, apple, tart, apple, green. Uh, persimmon, it looks like. And then also uh, a fig tree that um, I knew was here from the start, but it, um, you know, and it had figs on it, it was doing pretty good. And then unfortunately, some of the contractors are, that were working next door on uh, my neighbor's property here, um, they rolled a bunch of boulders over onto it and broke some of the base and a couple of the branches off of it. Uh, this had originally burned to the ground after the campfire, but it uh, started to grow back and only in about a year, about a year and a half now, this is what, this is what we're looking at. So originally, when I got out here uh, to assess it, yeah, there was a bunch of boulders, this one right here, and then all these up here, these were, uh, yeah, just laying around top of the poor thing, but came out here and cleaned it up, and I'm going to plant some food stakes, give it a nice healthy dose, it hasn't had any kind of you know, water and nutrients uh, other than just what's in the dirt in quite a while. So we haven't had any rain in a while. Um, and then up here, um, I'll give a little update on my fruit trees on this side. Um, like I said, an apple and the persimmon. Uh, save those. Uh, ha almost half of the uh, apple tree up here had burned. Uh, see, it scarred the whole tree, but about half of it or so uh, burned away, but the other half is still there. So, uh, I'm going to do a full, um, you know, another video on these two over here, but I just wanted to give a little bit of an update. Uh, looks like I've got some more growth down here. Uh, another apple tree that's sprouting up, but yeah, so this was all unmaintained up here, you know, for a while after the campfire because it burned a lot. And I came out of here and cleaned it up, uh, created some, you know, patches around it that I can plant some uh, of the, um, you know, the fruit stakes, uh, the food stakes, and try and, you know, plump them up a little bit. This apple tree has got a ton of apples on it, and this persimmon is just going crazy. I've, I've never been around a persimmon tree, but I don't know if you can see it or not, but there are, God, at least 100 uh, persimmons on this tree. And because this is, we're just now getting to August, uh, there might be, um, I think I read like September, October-ish is when they'll be ripe. So if the, uh, if the birds don't get to those like they've done my apples here, uh, I, should, I should have some nice persimmons you know, in a few months. So that'll be nice. I've actually never eaten one, but, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I get emotional uh, just thinking about being able to have that first one. You know, I, I've never owned property. This is the first time in my life and never thought I would. I was comfortable living in an apartment and, um, you know, as horrible as the campfire was, the silver lining in it, at least for me anyway, was uh, being able to um, really get off on my own and explore some, you know, possibilities in my life that I never thought were were there, like owning property, owning a house. Uh, by the way, if uh, you're watching this video here and you make it this far, I appreciate that. Um, and I also have a shameless plug. I have a GoFundMe up that's uh, right now that I've got going. Uh, I'm trying to raise $50,000 towards um, a down payment on a house. I just recently got approved for a USDA home loan because my debt it to income ratio was too high for a like a conventional loan. I can get one, but it's not very high. The USDA loan they approved me, uh, but it wasn't. It's not high enough for this area uh, right now. Square footage is going for like two hundred dollars a square foot, and you know a half acre lot. 
I just can't see myself paying or anybody realistically paying, uh, you know, 15, 30 year loan possibly for an eight to 900 square foot house. Uh, I just, I mean, I'll, at this point I can I'll almost take what I can get, but anyway, that's what I'm trying to do. So, um, I put a link, uh, in the description below for that, um, GoFundMe. If you want to go check that out, read my story. Um, if you're not familiar with uh, what happened to the campfire, I gave a little bit about, uh, my experience, uh, leaving the Ridge, uh, when that happened. So, um, uh, the neighbor in the background. So anyway, thank you again for watching. I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to be getting these videos out, tried to at least uh, a lot more. Uh, and I really, 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 really do appreciate uh, everybody who follows me and comes with me on this journey. Uh, I'm trying to break out of the anxiety constraints that I have of being a massive uh, agoraphobic, someone who, who is extremely afraid of of uh, new people, new surroundings, especially um, social ones. So anyway, it'll be nice to have that kind of a setting and uh, be able to invite my neighbors over. If I have neighbors, um, that'll be nice. So anyway, thank you again for following. I appreciate that. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit that subscribe button um, and hit that notification bell. That'll give you updates on when I come out with new videos. All right. Thanks a lot. Take it easy.